kitchens are made kitchens are made for bringing families together, but what about communities? I believe food has the ability to connect all types of communities filled with all kinds of people. My name is Emily Kaya, and for my senior project, I researched how communities connect through food and how food can make people feel. Baking has always been part of my life. For every little holiday, you could assume that I was going to make a treat for my family. I spend so much time looking at websites and watching different baking videos, trying to find the right recipe to make. It is one of my favorite things to do, and now for my project, I can say that I have baked for friends, family, and now my community. This semester, I held a bake sale, which raised money to donate to the New Hampshire Food Bank, along with holding a small food drive through the school. To prepare for the bake sale, I would research different recipes each week and bake them and test them out with my family. One of my favorite recipes I tested was pumpkin muffins with a cream cheese filling. I probably baked those three times before I even had the bake sale. And for the food drive, I set up a box near the front of the school for a couple of weeks, and I collected canned goods and non-perishable food items. Um, did you know that average adult, average adult eats more than 50 meals or 50% of the meals on their own? A study was done by the Big Lunch Program and a psychologist from the University, University of Oxford that took a look at how people connect through communities. Together, they found a link between in, an individual's happiness, their connection in the community, and how satisfied they are with their life. The results shared that 69% of the participants who filled out the survey have never shared a meal with their neighbors, and one out of eight people questioned answered that they were at least it was has been at least six months since they had a meal with their family or loved ones. This was surprising to me as I tend to eat most of my meals with family and friends. And I found this quote by Robin Dunbar, the Oxford psychologist, and it stuck out to me. It said, we know from previous studies that social networks are important for combating mental and physical illness. A significant portion of the respondents felt that having a meal together was a very important way of reinforcing these social networks. In increasingly fraught times, when communi community cohesion is not even more important, making time and joining in communal meals is perhaps one of the single most important things you can do both for your own health and well-being and for the wider or for the and for that of the wider community. Taking time and taking time to plan a meal and eating with someone else not only helps you but it can help others. 75% of the participants who recognize also recognized how making an effort to see these to see someone more often than not is best done by sharing a meal. That is why the Big Lunch is a great solution. The Big Lunch, founded by the Eden Project, had taken on the challenge of connecting communities. For nearly a decade, in the beginning of June, people have been getting together with their communities to have a big meal to kick off the summer. 7.3 million people last year alone got together to share a meal with their neighbors are located at 90,000 different events. These events happen in 70 different countries worldwide. Communities are holding their own big lunches, can have um, fundraisers to raise their own money, and they can also donate online at the Big Lunch Foundation to share meals with other people at different big lunches. Um, celebrating holidays is another way to share a meal with your community. For Thanksgiving, I baked two desserts. I baked a red velvet white chocolate cheesecake and then a blueberry lemon tart. Over there. And my family and I always cook for each other for holidays. And it is one of the like, ways we share that we appreciate each other. And for, for example, every Christmas, me, my brothers, my parents, and my yaya, we'd all get together and decorate Christmas cookies. Ever since I can remember, we've been doing that. And then we appreciate the food we have and the time we spend together. Baking is one of the ways I show my appreciation for them. And I'm very thankful for the food we have. But not everyone is as... Um, fortunate to have the food, and all around the world there are people who are in food insecurity, and food insecurity is the lack of consistent access to food for every person in the household to live an active, happy life. In New Hampshire, 1 in 14 people um, face food hunger, and 1 in 11 children have been facing food hunger. That is 24,360 children who do not have access to a stable amount of food. A few causes of food insecurity are unemployment, a lack of affordable housing, and health conditions. 
And for that, some people have to make the decision to either pay their bills or buy groceries, and often they choose to pay rent over buying food. And there is no easy solution to solve food insecurity, but there are small ways to help out. Like donating to a local food bank and charities like the New Hampshire Food Bank is an amazing way to make a difference. And to make my difference, I held a bake sale at a local softball tournament at NHTI. And the night before the bake sale, I baked cake pops, chocolate chip cookies, with white chocolate chips, pumpkin muffins, and brownies. And it was like a Halloween tournament. So me, my friend, and my mom decorated these treats to be Halloween themed. And I set up a table outside, and soon enough, I had raised $100. Um, and on the, on the New Hampshire Food like, Insecurity website, it shared that $1 can provide two meals for a family, so $100 was equal to 200 meals. And I also, I donated the money I raised online, which is very easy to do, and it only takes a few minutes. Anyone can go to their website, click, and in a few short minutes, actually donate the money to provide meals for others. And that is on that slide. And then, along with the money, I donated the small amount of food I raised from my bake sale, from my food drive, to in person to the food bank. But I also found out when donating money online that you can also virtually donate food online over there. And you click on the same, click, you click donate, and then you scroll down to donate virtual food, and then you can easily scroll down and it's like little shelves that you can click food and drag to your cart like you're checking out and then you have to just check out and they buy that food for you and it's an easy way to do it. And then donating is a great way to help those who are in need. By donating food you are helping others and also connecting with your community. Food has the ability to bring people together whether it's neighbors, friends, family, and those in need. Next time you might want to spend some quality time with someone, do it with a meal. Thank you. I liked making the cake pops, that was fun decorating, and then I just like making cheesecakes in general. One of my favorite things because they're good, they're tasty. Thank you.